All right, this is take one. And I hope you can hear me clearly. Um, I did some adjustments earlier. And all right, this is a free singing lesson. So you have nothing to lose, but um, just open up your ears and uh, tune in. And let's see how we can work with uh, the human voice. Now understand that uh, the human voice, mm, well, it, the body and the mind and the spirit must work together, uh, especially in singing, uh, not separately. Okay, I'm going to use a chart here. And when you go into a store, there's always um, five lines and four spaces. Now I know you don't want to hear a lot of lectures, but um, somewhere along the line you're going to have to learn music theory and how uh, to relate to pitch. And if you play piano or any instrument, well, uh, it still deals with pitch. Now, there's only so much time in this uh, video, so I'm going to have to speed it up as fast as I can. Uh, but to get um, uh, the main uh, point across. So, anyway, in this chart, mm, you have the lower line. Um, it is to be an E space, and that's a um, that's a lower range. So, in other words, think of this sound. E. Okay. Now, if we go to a middle range, and by the way, when you go into a music store, uh, it's the same thing with the music sheet, unless there's um, uh, additional lines going up or down. Those are leisure lines. Okay, so for you beginners, um, you're going to learn a lot today. And I'm trying to squeeze in as much as I can, but actually if you get my CD, it's even better because you can just play it in your car and um, you'll learn to sing overnight. And all you have to do is practice. Um, but with this video alone, with the fundamentals, you should be able to get uh, a good concept and work uh, from there to uh, make more progress. Um, so this is part of a formula, and there's more to it like breathing, hooking, and uh, diaphragm, and so on, and compressing air, and making mouth shapes. Now, I'm going to use the piano. Um, so you can figure out what to do with your ear. Ear training is very important in singing, especially playing an instrument. Okay, um, both uh, go hand in hand, actually. Okay, this is not a piano lesson, it's a singing lesson. So anyway, I was saying, um, but if you get my CD, which is a lot cheaper than uh, private lessons, because uh, private lessons would cost you $60 uh, each lesson. My CD's a lot less, and I don't really don't make much out of it, but uh, who knows, maybe some, somehow I get popular and I can make more videos and make a whole complete course of, uh, you know, four uh, videos or three, and then the CD. Okay, uh, all right, so I was at the E space, so that's a lower space, and you heard it, E, now, ooh, did you hear the difference in my pitch? The E is lower, ooh, E, excuse me, E, and now, ooh, that's higher, right? Now let's go higher to the fifth line, and that's, ah, so this is what I learned in school, so I'm, I'm handing it down to you guys, so, and you may think, uh, what are you talking about? It is a new language if you're a beginner. If you're intermediate, um, you might be missing something. And if you're um, advanced or someone like me, 
hey, um, make a video and let's see what else you can do to help people. Okay, so how can I use these spacings, these spaces? Well, uh, I'll take a popular song since I'm not getting paid. Um, yeah, and uh, several of them. Uh, let's start out with memory, okay? Midnight, not a sound from the pavement. Has the moon lost its memory? Well, I'm sure you can sing better than me. Okay, singing is not really uh, shouting or screaming, so forget that. And if you're singing with your throat, that's pretty much a common problem with most people, and they get tensed up. So anyway, that's not going to help you uh, using your, your throat. All your power is in your diaphragm. Okay, so um, maybe with this lesson you can uh, start something of your own and be more creative. Okay, but this is a good start mm, of one of my series. Okay, now with ooh space, how can I use that? Well, I'm going to take my voice up a little higher. Okay, so that would be every street seems to beat a fatalistic warning. Well, I sang the oo space, which is higher than the e. Now, but don't kid yourself, there are singers who sing in between keys or in between spaces, so I, I heard them do that. And it's very rare, but getting in tune and uh, uh, there's more to it all the time, uh, but um, this will set you in a good direction. So now how do I use the ah space? Well, that would be, uh, to see if you can guess it. Of course, it would be something like this. Touch me, it's so easy to leave me all alone with the memories. So you can lay back your voice too. All alone with the memories. See how my voice, uh, it just um, kind of like um, lean back. So you can uh, manipulate your, your, your sounds in your mouth, but there's um, more to it that, you know, I can't wrap it up in one package, but uh, everything I said uh, should be helpful because, mm, and play this video over and over until it sinks into your brain. And if you want to send me a, uh, an, your email address, um, on my blog on my website uh, is my P.O. Box, and it should be up there. It's P.O. Box 172 Since it's a small city, that's only one zip code for that city. USA, San Lorenzo. You can abbreviate S-A-N and L-O-R, the second uh, word and period. Okay, so again, P.O. Box 172 United States. That's all you need, that zip code, because, uh, like I said, um, that's the only city with one zip code. Um, okay, and uh, my name is Edmundo, and you can see it in my blog, or it should be in my, um, how do you say, in my website, E-D-M, like mother, O-N, Nancy, D-O, Edmundo. Tadefa, T, like Tom, A, D, door, E, education, F, Frank, Air, A, airplane, T, A, D, E, F, A. Okay, so if you send me your email, I can communicate with you and, and work with your weak points. And if you want that um, uh, CD, if you're out of the United States, Mm. 
uh, a good 